It's back for another day in the garage. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for coming. Please hit the subscribe button, like button, and comment below. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to check out my website, also linked below. Follow me on social media, Kyle Pantsis on Instagram. Uh, people are reaching out to me all the time with questions, so if you have any questions or concerns, or just want to be part of the community, please don't hesitate and join. We'd love to have you. Here is my 2002 Saab 93 convertible, and if you are new, I rebuilt this right here in my driveway. Uh, and today, uh, we have about 30,000 miles on the transmission fluid, and we're gonna just flush it, and I wanna show you how. So let's check it out. All right, so we're underneath the car here. Obviously, you can see my transmission's a little moist. I'm gonna go ahead and investigate that later. I do think it's the transmission lines in the front here, just some of the banjo bolts, the uh, the washers, they start to leak after a while. So we'll just investigate that later. But for the time being, this is a four-speed automatic transmission and right here is a 23 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna just take that out and let this fluid drain out. It's three and a half quarts that sits in the pan and the other three and a half sits in the torque convertible torque converter so if your fluid's not that dirty i would just recommend replacing the three and a half quarts like i am in this situation fy it's all needs is a little bit of a breaking loose and the rest Pretty easy. As you can see, the fluid is, is still pretty red. It's a little bit of a little brown, but nothing really too concerning. It doesn't smell burnt or anything like that. And there you go guys, so now we're gonna go right up top, fill her back up. All right, let's fire this thing up, let it run for a minute, let that transmission fluid cycle, see if it leaks and also see if it goes into gear. Check it out. Sounds good. Looks good. Sounds good and looks good. Must be good. Let's check it out. Put it in the gear. if it clicks all right we're in gear let's reverse and forward and it's in everything's working and it it's not like as jumpy as it was which is cool all right 
right, so now we're down off of the ramps. Let's check the fluid out. Obviously the car needs to run for like at least a half hour to warm up and get cycled, but let's just see if it helped out. Make sure that it all settles up and looks good. But um, like like Saab recommends, every 30,000 miles um, or four years, go ahead and just quickly change out the fluid like that. I kept it original. I'm using just CarQuest automatic transmission fluid, the ATF multi vehicle. This is the this is the uh, Dextron three performance. Just regular, you know, automatic transmission fluid that SAP recommends. I didn't go with anything semi-synthetic because my rule of thumb is don't change or don't fix what's not broken. And in this situation, the transmission's running nicely, it's healthy, and we want to keep it that way. So that's what we're doing. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a car ride. All right. So I'm going to go take this thing for a drive, but as you can see, I uh, degreased and cleaned the entire transmission. So before I take it for a drive, I'm just gonna let this thing idle and run right here to see if these banjo bolts here are continuing to seep. If that's the case, we know where the little transmission drip's coming from. Like I said, it's just a small little drip, so it's not a big deal. However, if I'm driving four or 500 miles, which I plan on doing in the next two months with this car on a nice road trip, a little drip can be a lot of drips, and we don't want that. So, all right, I'm gonna start this thing up. Let it idle for a little bit, and uh, give you a little update once I'm ready to. So, stay tuned, guys. All right, so this thing's nice and hot now. I did take it around the block real quick just to move it, um, and I'm not seeing any sort of seeping on these bolts again. Um, I did tighten this guy down. That was the one that was the most moist out of everything down to here. But uh, just looking at the transmission, obviously I didn't drive it long enough. But everything uh, so far seems okay. So what I'm going to do is just let this go a couple days and see if something changes. And that's about it. Let's take this thing for a real drive. Double check the fluids. And we'll go from there. Okay, let me run. Not bad. Nice and smooth. The car seems to be shifting a little bit smoother in gear. Unless it's a placebo effect. I don't know. But anyways, car's running really good. The um, fluid is nice and full. And uh, obviously the weather is not so nice. But I got one more thing to do tomorrow, which is replace the throttle body on this. The one that's on here currently keeps going into limp mode. Not too sure why, so I'm gonna put a new one on, see if that fixes it. And then should be good for the weekend because the weather's gonna be nice, unlike today. Keep sobbing guys, keep sobbing. Again, check out my links below guys. Please subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell so when I upload, you can get notified. And, um, roads are flooding. I will see you guys next time, thank you.